Elizabeth, and I will be talking about NIH Common Fund Programs, Organization of Digital Objects, and Assessment of Their Fairness. So the NIH Common Fund supports research tools and technologies that bring new and innovative insight to the biomedical community. Uh, currently, there are 29 active programs, and for this project, the focus was on nine of these programs. Each Common Fund program has its own unique focus. For example, Kids First aims to understand the genetic cause of and links between childhood cancer and structural birth defects. So all research efforts under this program are directed towards this cause. The process um, for this project begins by taking data sets and information that are available on the data portals that um, are for each Common Fund program, and then this information is then organized in a spreadsheet. And this information can include um, things such as data set ID, assay use, access URL, and more. Um, then the next step is to take all this information and incorporate it into an easily ingestible form, and this is the data tag suite or DATS model. And this consists of writing all the information into machine-readable JSON-LD files. These files can then be used for fair assessments through FairShake, and also will eventually end up in a Common Fund Data Ecosystem, or CFDE portal, that is being developed by the NIH Common Fund as a de designated storage for Common Fund data sets. So the DATS model is a data description model that enables the discoverability of data sets, and it was developed as part of NIH's Big Data to Knowledge initiative. Um, it's very useful because uh, since each Common Fund program has its own data coordinating center, or DCC, um, and its own way of organizing data sets under its program, uh, using the DATS model to organize all the data sets across all the different programs enables more synchronization. Uh, the DATS model has a set of core descriptors, which are generic and can be applied to any data set. And then it also has an extension, which can be used for more specialized data sets. For this project, the DATS model was successfully applied to GTEx, Lynx, 40 Nucleum, and Metabolomics. <coughs> It's also important to assess how fair or findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable digital objects are. Fair is a set of principles that have been set forth by the scientific community in an initiative meant to make digital objects more usable by machines and also reusable by individuals. Um, so fairness can be assessed through fair assessments, which can be done on digital objects, metadata, and DCCs. Assessing fairness um, ultimately is really important because it allows us to understand how well digital objects are adhering to community guidelines and also gives us an idea as to what areas may need improvement. Fair assessments can be done through FairShake, where they can be done manually, semi, or fully automatically. Um, the process begins when users either choose or create their own rubric, which has metrics or questions that assess um, the fairness of the digital objects. And it also has its own database, which um, stores registered data sets and their associated metrics um, from and rubrics, and also how well they performed on the assessment. So this is an example of a fair assessment that was completed on digital objects from the metabolomics program. Uh, the user can see the digital objects um, and also insignias or visualizations of how the digital objects performed on the assessment. And the user can further find out what rubric was used, what metrics are involved in that rubric, and also how each digital object performed on any given metric. So the specific rubric used is the one on the left. It has 16 associated metrics, and one of the metrics asks, if the digital object has a globally unique identifier. And this specific metric is assessing findability. Similarly, other metrics in the rubric assess this and other aspects of FAIR. Um, 
So the JSONLD files with the DAPS descriptors can be loaded into various tools and platforms, such as Signature Commons, um, and this was done with the Lynx datasets. Signature Commons is a tool that was developed by the Mayan Lab, and it allows users to see uh, registered datasets and any associated cell signatures. On the left, you can see an example of what one of the Lynx datasets would look like. It includes all the information that was in the original JSON-LD file along with the descriptors. Um, future work consists of completing, uh, continuing to complete fair assessments through FairShake, um, updating the DATS model as necessary, transferring digital objects from HMP, Kids First, Spark, HubMap, MotorPack to the DATS model, and then loading that into signature comments. Um, interacting with DCCs about improving fairness, and identifying opportunities for elements that can be used for automated integration. Um, I would like to thank the members of the Mayan Lab, especially Daniel, Errol, and Ali. Um, I'd also like to thank Dr. Mayan, Sherry, and the other summer interns. Thank you. Thank you.